Yeah. Alright guys, my name's Jason, I'm the Lakes Coach. So on this fine evening we're going to work through a kettlebells and abs routine. Uh, we've got three groups of exercises, three groups of five. We're going to work for 30 seconds on every exercise and we're going to have 15 seconds rest between each one. We're going to do uh, two rounds of each of the three groups and after each round we'll have 45 seconds rest or a bit more of a, a, bit more of a break to recuperate. First of all, let's start with a quick warm up. So if we draw the arms out, and if we start with some torso twists, so it's going to twist the upper body side to side, nice firm twists. And then from there, if we just draw the hands straight up, we bring one knee up as well, drawing those hands down towards the knee, and just switching from side to side. And let's relax. Okay. We need some arm swings, so swing the arms forwards, nice big swings. And then backwards, so four big swings backwards. And let's relax. Okay, if we just drop down towards the knee, bringing the other hand overhead, just going to switch from side to side. So just reaching down towards the knee, side to side. And then we can relax. Okay, we're going to draw the knee out to the side, twist in front, and just alternate the legs. Out to the side, twist in front, just going to keep switching. And this routine is going to be about 35 minutes long. Ah, uh, we can relax there. Okay, if we just break into a little jog. If we bring the hands to the base of the bum, and we're just going to do 10 seconds of heel flick. So we're just going to keep those heels flicking back up towards the hands. Five seconds. Ah, uh, we can relax there. Okay, breaking back into a little jog. We're going to start drawing the knees up in front, so we're going to come into high knees for 10 seconds. Keeping those knees driving up for the five. And then back into a little jog. Okay, 10 seconds of jumping jacks, so jumping the feet out, drawing the feet back in, raising the arms for jump. It's front of a three. And um, we can relax there. Right, let's finish the warm up with five squats. So just body weight squats, feet shoulder width. We're going to push those hips back as we bend at the knees, and we'll just keep the arms straight out. Okay, we're going to raise up tall and repeat. There's two, three. We're going to do two more, and last rep. Right, okay. Ready to start, guys. So. Like I said, we've got three groups of five exercises. We're going to start with the first one, which was, is a single-handed forward lunge to press. So we're going to lunge forwards with the right leg, lunge back, press the kettlebell overhead. And we're just going to keep repeating with that right leg only. And we've just got that kettlebell resting on the back of the right wrist. We're lunging forwards. Then pressing up overhead, just on that right leg. Body straight, core braced. Firm push off out of that lunge, press straight up. Okay. So we're going to switch arms, we're going to do the same again. This time with the other side, so kettlebell back of the wrist, feet hip width. Just lunging with that same leg, starting in three, lunge forwards. Push off, press up, lunge forwards, press off and press. Whew. Nice smooth reps. Lunging forwards under control, firm push off, straight up above the head. Open the legs, shoulders, core. Last couple of seconds. And then we're going to switch the kettlebell back into that right side. Similarly, we're going to do side lunges to a press. Kettlebell back of the right wrist, feet hip width. Just lunging out to that right side in three seconds. Lunging out, pressing off, straight up. Lunging out, pushing the hips back, straight up. Okay. Take your time easing into that lunge, you're just placing the foot, sinking those heels, uh, the hips back, and then press straight up. Place the foot, sink the heels straight back.
straight up overhead. Okay, so we're going to switch to the left. Same thing. The second, ready to start for your hip width to start. Just lunging out to that left side. Put firm push off out of that lunge. Pressing overhead, off we go. So that cowbell rests on the back of the wrist there. Nice, steady reps. Lunging out, firm push off. Pressing straight up. And our kettlebells sit on the back of the wrist. Ah, we can relax there. Okay. Next exercise, we're going to hold a squat. We're going to do what's called figures of eight. So when the kettlebell is behind, we're going to drop into a squat. We're going to keep the squat position held. We're just going to pass the kettlebell around the back and front of the legs. So keeping that squat position maintained, holding those legs firm, working the kettlebell around the back and front of the legs. Keeping that held, guys. 10 seconds, keep working those figure of eights. Keeping it going right around the back and front. Last few seconds. Ah, we can raise it up there, shaking those legs off. Okay, next we're going to come into a renegade row. So we want to be in the press up position, but with one hand down. Kettlebell on the other hand, body straight, core braced. We're just drawing the elbow back, bringing the kettlebell to the side of the uh, chest. Straighten out and repeat. Make sure you've got a nice wide stance with the feet. We're just working that same side. Deep breaths. Exhale as we roll. Inhale as we straighten the arm out if we can. Body straight. Core braced. Working those rows. Last couple of seconds. Ah, we can relax there. Okay, so we're going to work the other side. Same thing. So hand down. Wide stance with the feet. Body straight. Core braced. Ready to start. Nice smooth rows. If you find it too hard on the toes, you can do the same exercise but with the knees down. Same thing, body straight, core braced. Draw the elbow back. Touch down and repeat. Okay. Last few seconds, keep working those rows. Ah, we can relax there, guys. All right, so the last exercise in this group, we're going to flip onto the back and we're going to come in for a sit to press. So we just want the heels out, slight bend at the knees, lying back, kettlebell top of the chest. We're doing a sit up, press the kettlebell straight up overhead, lower back and repeat. So we're coming off the ground with the kettlebell, pressing straight up overhead, lower back and repeat. If you find it tough doing your sit up, bring the kettlebell out towards the knees and then straight up overhead. If you want to keep it hard, keep it in the top of the chest. Ah, oh, we can relax to that. All right, guys, this is the first round down. Should have a, have a 30 seconds recovery. Getting some water down, having a little rehydrate. Give yourself some time to get that heart rate dropped a bit. 10 seconds to start again, so forward lunges into the press. Right arm, kettlebell back of the wrist, side of the shoulder for your hip width. Off we go, lunging forwards. Press off, press the kettlebell straight up. Remember, we're just working that same leg. And then we'll switch to the other side after this. Core braced, straight up pressing. Keep that breathing rate deep. 
Ah, oh, we can switch sides there, guys. All right, we'll give that arm a little shake off. So kettlebell on the back of the other wrist, same thing, feet hip width. Lunging forwards with that same leg, same side. Off we go. I want to try and drop down nice and low into that lunge. Get the knees down to 90 degrees if we can't. And then firmly pushing off. Knees down to 90 degrees, firm push off. Straight up. If you find lunges tough, just lower what you can into each lunge. 90 deep breaths, straight up overhead. And we can relax that. So we're switching back to that other side. Coming into the side lunges. Kettlebell on the right, just lunging out to the right side. Off we go, lunging out, pushing off, straight up into that press. I'm just ease yourself into that side lunge. Easing in, front push, straight up overhead. Last couple of seconds. Arm can relax that. All right, give arm a shake. Got a little burn on there, shoulder burn. Okay, so doing the same thing on the other side. Getting the kettlebell into position, ready to start. Off we go. Firm push, straight up overhead. Working those reps, guys. Nice and smooth. Ah, we can relax that. Okay, 10 seconds. We're going to the uh, figure of eight next with the squat hold, five seconds, feet shoulder width. Catabelle either hand, ready to drop down. Let's go, starting to work those figure of eights around the back and front of the legs. Hold in that squat position nice and firm. Hello. Keep working those figure of eights, guys. Holding firm, embracing that burn as it starts to build. Keeping it passing round. Last few seconds. Ah, we can raise and shake that off. All right, so we're coming into the renegade row next. Working the right side first, so dropping down. One hand down, wide stance, body straight, core braced, off the go. So working those controlled rows. Body straight. Remember, we can do it from the knees if we need to. Still keeping that body straight, core braced. Drawing the elbow back. Okay, we can switch sides. We're getting the kettlebell. Switch it on to the other side, same thing. Opposite hand down, feet wide. Nice bit of balance, core braced. Ready to start, off we go. Nice and smoothly. Draw on that elbow straight back. Be working those reps, guys. Last few seconds. Ah, let's relax there. All right, we're going to flip onto the back. Going into the sit to press his neck, so cut the bell top of the chest, heels down, crunching forwards, pressing straight up overhead. Remember, if you find the sit up tough, bring the kettlebell out towards the knees away from the chest, and then straight up overhead. 
or if you want to be hardcore, keep it in the chest as you do your sit up. Keep working those reps, guys. Ah, let's relax ourselves there. Okay, so we've got another break. Then we're on to our second group of exercises next. Last few seconds, 15 seconds. All right, guys, this time we're going to start with a half burpee into three swings. So we're going to bring the hands inside the kettlebell, jump the feet back, forwards wide, grab your kettlebell, straight into five swings. Once you've got five swings, we're going to touch it down. Hands down, feet back, forwards wide, grab that kettlebell again into another round of five swings. Just double handed swings. Ah, we can relax that. All right. Exercise two of this group, we're going to do uh, power squats. Catabar between the legs, we're going to drop into a squat, touching down, then we're just going to jump up and repeat. Off we go. Touch that catabar down, jump up out of that squat and repeat. So we're getting that just a little bit of air for floor. Touching down, straight up, touching down, straight up. Last couple of seconds. And um, we can relax, shaking that off. Okay, next we've got two exercises that we're going to do with the right hand. Then we're going to switch and do the same two with the left. First exercise, we're going to do a push press. So with the feet short away, the little drop of the knees, pop up and press and repeat. Keep that breathing right deep. Little drop and pop up. Drop of the knees, using those legs, coming up into that press, pop it up. Ah, let's relax that. Exercise two, working that same arm, feet shoulder width. Gonna come into a bent over row, bring that free hand onto the thigh. Back straight, core braced. Off we go. So drawing the elbow back, pulling those shoulder blades together. Nice smooth rows. Keep that core braced. Nice steady rows, guys. Last few seconds. Ah, we can relax that. All right, we're going to switch hands. We're going to shake that arm off. So we're coming into the push presses, side of the shoulder, feet about hip width, shoulder width, drop and press. Off we go. It's a little drop of the knees. Use those legs, drive it up into that press, holding that kettlebell firmly on the back of that wrist. Keep that breathing right deep. 10 seconds, guys. Ah, we can relax there. All right, so we're coming into the bent over rows. Feet shoulder width, slight bend at the knees. We've got to hinge forward at the hips. Free hand on the thigh. Going to work those rows, guys. Off we go. Drawing those shoulders together as we pull that elbow straight back. Keeping that core braced. 
Keep pushing out those rows, guys. Last three seconds, get a couple more. Ah, we can relax that. Okay, final exercise in this group, we're coming into alternating swings. So where we switch hands with each swing, rocking the hips back, shooting forwards. Off we go. It's a tight squeeze to the glutes as we shoot those hips forwards. Want the feet shoulder width. Nice quick snap at those hips, coming forward nice and fast. Tight squeeze of the glutes. The bum as we pull the hips forward. Keep working those swings. Last few seconds, guys. Ah, we can relax that. All right, that's the first round down of this group. So let's grab some water. We'll rehydrate. Ready to get stuck into round two. Uh. It's the same uh, sequence. Starting with the half burpee into five swings. So I'll go over that again. Hands down either side of the kettlebell, jump the feet back, jump them forwards to a wide stance. So you can just literally sit up and grab the kettlebell straight into your five swings. Okay, with both hands on, off we go. Counting those swings, getting five. And straight down into that next half for the peak. Shooting those hips forwards. Keep pushing, guys. Ah, we can relax that. Get your breath back, 10 seconds. We're coming into those power squats next, so feet shoulder width. Cabal between both hands between the legs. Drop it into a squat, off we go. Jump it up. So it's coming up off the ground. Bit of power through those legs. Deep breaths, breaths as we push them out, guys. Keep working. Push in, push in, push in. Last few seconds, final few reps. Ah, we can relax that. I'm gonna shake that off. Shake the legs a little. Right, there's two upper body exercises next. Push press, bent over row, both with the right, feet hip width. Drop of the knees, pressing overhead. I right, we use those legs. Slight bend, drive up into that press. Ten seconds. Keep pushing. Last couple of reps. Ah, there we're coming into the bent over row. Same arm. Feet shoulder width, hinging forward, slight bend at the knees. Catabell dangling down, hand on thigh, core brace, ready to start. Off we go. Deep breaths all the time, guys. Work on those rows best we can. Drawing that elbow straight back. A little pinch of those shoulder blades with each row. Ah, let's relax that. All right, we're going to shake that side off. Push press on the left. Ready to start. In a position, feet about hip width. Off we go. Little drop of those knees. Drive up into that press. Keep pushing out, guys. Use 
using those legs powering up into that press ah oh, we can relax that all right so we're coming into those uh, left-handed bent over rows next feet shoulder width hinging forwards body back straight sorry core braced hand on thigh off we go Pushing through those rows, guys. Core braced all the time. Keep working them, fighting that burn. Ah, we can relax that. Give the arms a little shake off. So coming into the last exercise in this group, it's the alternating swings. So we're switching hands on each swing, feet shoulder width, either hand on, ready to start. Off we go, rocking the hips back, shooting forwards, tight squeeze of the glutes. Working those swings. Nice powerful thrust forwards of those hips. Tightly squeezing the glutes as we do. Last few seconds. Ah, we can relax there, guys. So that's the second round down. Bit of a breather. Another 30 seconds. Then we're moving on to our last group of exercises. It's a bit more core focused. First exercise, we're going to start with press ups and we're going to reach out and touch the kettlebell with each press up. So we want the hands down, knees down, we're going to drop into a press up, press off, and just tap the kettlebell and repeat. Switching hands, off we go. So even with the knees down or from the toes, that's up to you. So we're coming up out of that press up, reaching and tapping just the handle of the kettlebell. Body straight, core braced, from the knees or from the toes, okay? Switching hands with each wrap. Ah, we can relax that. All right, we're gonna give the upper body a little loosen off. Next up, we've got a plank with an alternating row. All right, so a high plank on the hands. Either side of the kettlebell, Roll the kettlebell, drop down, switch hands. So keeping one hand down as we roll the kettlebell, switching sides. Make sure you've got your feet shorter width. Ah, we can relax there, guys. All right. Exercise three is just with our body weight. We're going to do knee tucks. So you're going to be sat up with the heels out in front, hands out behind. Draw the knees into the chest. Straight out and repeat. Off we go. So working those knee tucks. Pulling the knees up towards the chest. Lengthening the legs back out and repeat. We're just using those hands out behind just to support yourself. Nice and smoothly, last three seconds. Ah, we can relax to that. All right, guys, we've got two more exercises. We're gonna do a front plank, so on the forearms with pelvis drop. So we're gonna twist the hips reach down towards the floor and we're just going to switch sides nice and smoothly just pivoting on the toes 
we find this too hard, we can just maintain a front plank. All right, so with the elbows below the shoulders, forearms out. Optionally added in those little pelvis drops. Ah, we can relax that. All right, guys, so final exercise, we flip it onto the back. We're gonna hold the kettlebell above the chest. One leg raised, we're just gonna alternately lower and raise the legs straight in. So one leg raises as the other lowers. And we're just holding that kettlebell up above the chest. Just want a slight bend at the knees. Feeling those abs starting to burn up. Keep it going smooth. Ah, we can relax ourselves there. All right, so that's the first round down. Got a little break. And we get straight into round two. Let's get some water down. So we're coming back into the press ups with the little, uh, the little kettlebell tap from the knees or from the toes, however you would normally do them. Hands shoulder weight if you're ready to start guys, on the knees or the toes. Hips in line if you're from the knees. Dropping it in that press up, pressing off. Little reach, off we go. Nice and smoothly. Just lower what you can into the press ups if you find them hard. Just lower halfway down. Obviously, if you want to make them harder, you're going to do them from the toes. Same thing, dropping down low to the ground if you can't. Press off, reach with one hand. Ah, let's relax there. Okay, so exercise two, we're doing the plank with the alternating row. Make sure you've got your feet short away with the toes down on the ground. Hands here beside the kettlebell. We're going to row it with each hand and just keep alternating. Body straight, core brace. Just drawing that kettlebell to the side of the chest. Touch down and switch. Nice and smoothly, switching those hands. Keep going, guys, last few seconds. Ah, we can relax. All right. Coming into the knee tucks next. So heels out in front. Hands out behind, drawing the knees into the chest. Off we go, straight in. Lowering those legs out. If you find it too hard doing both legs, just do one leg at a time. Switching the legs, and he's drawing the knee up towards the chest. And then straighten the legs out under control. Pushing through, guys. Ah, let's relax. All right, we're coming into the front plank with the pelvis drops next. So we're coming onto the forearms, elbows below the chest, body straight. On the toes, off we go. So you're just adding in that little twist, dropping the hips down towards the floor, alternating sides. Nice and smoothly side to side. Ah, we can relax. All right, so final exercise to finish, guys. We flop, flap it onto the back. We're going into the scissors, holding the kettlebell above the body, above the chest. One leg raised to start. Off we go. So keeping those legs almost straight. Lowering one whilst raising the other. We're going to keep that simultaneous action going. Core held nice and braced. Deep breaths. 
Let those abs burn up guys. Go to embrace it. Keep working those legs. Last few seconds to push through. Ah, we can relax. All right, guys, that's the uh, the full routine done. Make sure you give yourself a bit of time to cool off, grab some water, have a full, full stretch off after the session as well. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you've got any comments or any feedback, then just drop them in. Have a great day, guys.